You are alive and watching this video. If you wish to expand your knowledge of this mysterious world, continue watching, for this means you are a seeker of truth, wisdom, and the riddles of the universe. It may also mean your clothes are getting smelly and you need some method of cleaning them. For this series is the owner's manual of adulthood, and today's lesson is doing laundry. This video will illustrate three things. First, how did you get into college without learning to wash clothes? Second, the hygienic reasons for washing clothes. Third, practical advice on said clothes washing. First, how have you made it through 18 years without learning to wash clothes? You're an adult now, so it's time to learn this basic skill. But for the moment, pause to marvel in the lifestyle which you have led, wherein you have never needed to wash your own clothes. It must be nice, fancy pants. Speaking of pants, there are many reasons to wash your clothes, chiefly hygiene. Washing clothes serves a purpose greater than making them smell nice. It also cleans them of germs that can make you sick, spread infections, or make things, well, gross. To maintain good hygiene, you should wash your clothes once per week, maybe more. Keep in mind, the longer your clothes go unwashed, the stinkier they can be. This makes them harder to clean. A special note on towels and damp clothes. If they sit too long without an air source, like in a pile under your bed or in the hamper, they can mildew and become super stinky. The upshot is, clean your clothes before they smell. Washing your clothes also serves the practical purpose of killing the kind of germs that can spread cold, flu, athlete's foot, and gross rashes. Imagine having to tell someone that you got a rash because you didn't wash your clothes. But you can avoid this chilly horror by washing your clothes! Now, the good stuff. Tips on washing your clothes. Separate clothes into two piles to ensure the dyes do not bleed into different colored clothing. Generally, it is best to divide into white clothing and colors. Check labels to see if any of your clothing items require special handling. Follow directions for those items. Wash in cold water, dry clean only, hand wash only, etc, etc. Check the pockets of your clothing and remove anything that can damage your clothing or the washing machine. Maybe you'll find some extra change. Do not wash dry clean only items in a regular washer or dryer. These items need to be sent to a professional dry cleaner. That's why they're dry clean only. Follow the indicators inside the cap or scoop of your detergent for how much is needed. Pour detergent into the detergent dispenser and use your UTID card to pay for the wash. It is not necessary to include more detergent than suggested. Do not overload the washer, but fill the washer to a level where the clothing can move around during the washing process. Since these are public washers, make sure to not leave your laundry longer than the allotted time. Your items could be moved, become missing, or sit too long in the washer, so you'll have to wash them again. The washer door will lock in place once the washing cycle starts. If you encounter an issue with your machine, note the number of the machine and follow the signage directions in your laundry room. Before drying your clothing, check the lint tray and remove any lint before putting your clothes in the dryer. Check to make sure none of your clothing needs to dry flat instead of being in the dryer. These items could shrink in the excessive heat of the dryer. For drying, use the same method in filling the dryer as you did for the washer. Fit just enough in so the clothing can move around during the drying process. Feel free to use one or two dryer sheets with your clothing before starting the drying process. Make sure to remove your laundry briefly after the drying cycle is complete to ensure against extra wrinkling and creasing. So, there you go. That's how you wash your clothes. For more information on cleaning your clothes, you can check the following links.